In my last video, I talked about how every employee is often viewed as a potential thief by the potential employer. And I struck a nerve with several of, of the people that saw the video. As often as the case when I strike a nerve, I want to address it in this video. I'm Nancy Schick of 30 or Conflict Resolution. I'm an employment attorney and mediator based in New York City where I've had my practice for the past 21 years. I've seen lots of different things that do unfortunately support employers in not trusting employees in the same way that we see employees not trusting employers. That's the whole reason I'm doing this series. I wanna break down some of those misperceptions and help you restore trust. But in order to do that, we have to also be honest where maybe we're not always operating with the highest levels of integrity. It might seem as an employee who works for a corporation that makes a lot of money, if they're not paying you a really great salary, you might think it's okay to pad your timesheet a little bit, maybe do a little bit less than you agreed to do show up late, maybe leave early, but still put in the same time that you were supposed to on your timesheet, or still take the same salary and maybe even demand more, knowing that you're not really putting full effort in. I've seen employees do things like borrow from the employer because they have access to the funds, and maybe they even have the intention to pay that back, but that's still embezzlement. Employers don't typically give you permission to borrow their money, right? So that is still embezzlement. And then I've seen a lot of fibbing about disabilities. Maybe they have an injury that they did at home over a weekend and they come into work and then they say they did it at work so that they can get workers compensation. We see a lot of that happen. And that doesn't mean that there aren't some lapses in integrity on the employer side. But I think we have to be honest with ourselves about what we've created that breaks down employment as a partnership. I'm gonna to continue to do these videos to help you create that mutually beneficial relationship because you all need each other. And there's so much beautiful work that you can create and do good in the world when you come together. If you're interested in learning more about that, of course, you can always schedule a consultation. I'll put a link in the notes to the video for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below because I will be doing a lot more videos like this to help you create a much more peaceful and productive workplace, not just for you, but for your employer and your coworkers. In the meantime, keep listening with your third ear for those hurts you can heal.